one of the pioneers of slap fighting, makes his long-awaited debut on the Power Slap stage. As the crazy Hawaiian faces off against Micah Sayuli in a super heavyweight clash, destined for shockwaves. I'm ready to perform and show everybody who the crazy Hawaiian is, the true pioneer in the sport. When I'm on that stage, I fear nobody. I fear nothing. No one can stop me, no matter what. I want to be the first ever super heavyweight power slap champion. When I got the call from power slap, I couldn't show up. My younger brother, a Hawaiian hitman, he stepped into my place, took care of business. Oh, that's it! Me and my brother are similar, but you know, I got that dog. I think I'll go down as the greatest of all time. I think I'll go down as the first Hall of Famer. I think I'll go down as the slap king. We need an event in Hawaii. The fans will come and the fans will bring it. You can see all the crazy Hawaiians. Uncle Michael just originated from Hawaii. I just looked over everybody and cared for everybody. Family definitely is my core. My introduction to slap fighting was from a close friend of mine known as the Crazy Hawaiian. Being on that stage with that crowd, it was just electrifying. I have the gym, the bar, the body for this. I am the definition of a super heavyweight. I see myself as a silent assassin. I let my hand do the talking. To prove worthy of this belt, I'd have to get that win. I do love and respect this guy, but I can put all that aside and I can unleash this power that I have and try to knock him out. He's never been hit the way out, I'll hit him. You won't have the chance to get back up. I'm gonna make a big statement here tonight. I'm gonna let everybody know that it doesn't matter who's in front of me. I got Micah's number already. I'm gonna knock him out. You're gonna see two big Polynesians on the biggest platform clashing it out. I'm gonna give him everything I got. These boys are big, man. Both of them 400 pounds. Here's Uncle Micah Sayuli from Hawaii, currently living in Las Vegas. Charlie, coming out here with something to prove against the guy that he knows very, very well. Yeah, I really love the dynamic between these two guys. It's so interesting. They've been friends since grade school. And now Micah says it's time for him to get his revenge because, guys, listen to this. The crazy Hawaiian stole Micah's lunch ticket in ninth grade, he says, and he's still mad about it. But all jokes aside, it was Koa who introduced Micah to the slap fighting world to begin with. And he's been a mentor for a few years, helping Micah to get to a 2-0 record at this point. And Micah told me in high school, he once dreamed of getting to the NFL, but he couldn't feel more grateful to be here today because for him, power slap, now the equivalent of that childhood aspiration, which is so cool to hear. Well, the crazy Hawaiian might have taken his lunch money, but I don't think he's going hungry. <laughs> Let's be honest, 407 no, pounds, this man is packing serious power. Now, in terms of boxing, martial arts, done a little bit of that stuff, competed, nothing high level, works in the nightclub scene in Las Vegas, clearly as security, this man was built for that, as well as this, looking forward to this one, a nice, friendly rival. The crazy Hawaiian, very well known in the sport, coming in with a 13 and one slap record, making his debut on Power Slap. A lot of people in the industry very much looking forward to seeing him get here, the biggest stage in the sport. He is a minus 500 favorite here tonight. The one thing I think is the most interesting is his brother is here to watch, who fought on Power Slap too. One thing I think is most interesting is he's ambidextrous, and he was telling us he's not sure which hand he's gonna slap with tonight. Yes, considering using his left, even though he's right-handed, which I'm not quite sure I see the logic behind that, but still, never mind that. This man is very well known in the slap world. He's kind of a pioneer. He's one of the first guys involved in this. He's got a record of 13 and one. He's been doing this for several years. He's promoted his own event. He actually promoted the first ever event which Mika, his opponent, 
had his first ever bout on. So he's very deeply entrenched in this world, highly sought after by a lot of other promotions. But you know what, when you speak to both of these guys, very nice, humble guys. Of course, they're old school friends. They go all the way back to school, as Charlie said. And they've never had any beef. They've never had any fights. It's just a nice, friendly rivalry. But they're going to do everything in their power, which is a lot of power, to knock each other out. You know, what I thought was interesting was the crazy Hawaiian, who has a lot of experience in boxing, says he would crush Micah in boxing. He said it's much more of a level playing field here in the Power Slap Arena. All right, a look at the tail of the tape now. Both men 33 years old. Sayuli is two inches taller. It's the crazy Hawaiian. A big favorite in this one with a one-inch reach advantage for our co-main event. Let's send it to our Power Slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening, presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Set for three rounds in the Power Slap Super Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 399 and one half pounds out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Nanakuli Hawaii, Uncle Micah Sayuli. And in the red corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 402 pounds, out of Springfield, Missouri, by way of Wainai Hawaii, the crazy Hawaiian. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Uncle Micah Seuli. Rumble Bold and Free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. How close are these guys, you ask? Well, Micah lives here in Las Vegas currently. He's been here for about seven years. Anytime the crazy Hawaiian comes to town, it's uh, Sayuli who picks him up at the airport. I know, it's beautiful. Old school friends going to war for the oh, sake of Micah. competition, making money, becoming legendary in the slap world. Go ahead, get set. I need your waist What's up better than it? two? Best friends just slapping the shit out of each other. Well, that happens on occasion. <laughs> Certainly after a few beers on a Saturday no night. No doubt. We've all been there, Mike. Uh, Dan, what am I saying? Right, you said. <laughs> I'm Mike. You're Mike. I'm oh, Dan. Nice okay, to meet you, thanks, my friend. Thanks, Dan. Nice to meet you, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. Hold Let me look at the size forward. of these guys. All right, what's I mean, just two 400-pounders. <laughs> Get ready to throw down. On three. Yeah. He's going to go left on three. You must now, measure. We've seen guys like this before talking about slap for cash. Remember, right. a gigantic measure. guy, a big reputation, got put to sleep. I think it was the first blow. One, two, there we go. Oh, oh he rocked him. Man. That. I mean, look at the smile. <laughs> look at that. I mean, come on, that was awesome. He played it perfectly. He almost went down, almost knocked out, and then he gives him an evil grin. Look at this. Oh, that was hard. But then look, look, he's almost unconscious. But he kept his feet, he and he wisely used the table to help yeah. him stay up. But at this point here, look, look, this is where he realizes, oh, now it's my, my turn. turn. Now I get to go. You should have seen the faces oh. of the fans it's here in the crowd. Yeah. I loved it, the clubbing. evil grin. Brilliant. Oh, they call it clubbing? You know, One with the point, beards, clubbing. it's a little harder to see One where it point, lands on clubbing. the face. I did One suspect point, okay. oh, if it was a club. Seemed a little okay. low. All right. Oh, the crazy Hawaiian. Look at him. You're in your he's, recovery time. Let me know when you're good. You he's doing, minutes, the, okay? doing the dance right now. Stay in his on. mind, it's the knockout Stay dance. On. Are you good? All right, recover. Bare feet to the crazy Hawaiian. Yeah, don't love it. Don't love it. What? Maybe we're wrong, though. I mean, right, this guy is a pioneer, as I said. 14 professional right, slap contests. Right, a lot of experience. Right, What's going to be your hand well, the other thing, too, you got to remember oh, right, in a lot of these right, other promotions, they don't right have the same rules about stepping, which has been difficult when these guys do this for the first time. So 
You want to watch the crazy Hawaiian's feet here. He's got a measure. Planted. That's a is. measure. Look at this. We got an extra catcher here. One. Helping force Griffin. Two. There we go. Two. Takes it. Oh, that was Takes it. Nothing. That was not the best slot. Good slot. Uncle Micah just brushes that off. But remember, there was a penalty. Yep. Go talk to your coach. So that's a 9-9. Nine, nine. So, so it's going to be a 10-8 round. It looked yeah. kind of worse than it was in slow-mo, to be honest. I mean, yeah, the impact sound wasn't overly impressive, but still, regardless. And stay in this position, okay? All right, put it behind Yeah, he was rocked. Ready. Even though it was a club it. and it was a foul. Recover! He was... Hand. Yeah, you don't Hawaii. recover instantaneously no. from this. Left Significantly hand on three. rocked. You must measure. That will affect your ability to land your own shot. That's a measure. One. And it'll also Two. affect your ability to take shots. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. That he just waves it off. There He's was, already talking to the crowd. No comparison to the first shot. No comparison. Right. And I think what we saw no, there right. is because he's so consumed with not fouling, right. it's taken away, it's detracting from the amount of power that he's willing to throw with. No, I think that's a valid point. Set your position. Yeah, perfect placement. Yeah, clean contact. Okay. People got to slow it down a little bit. You can't be as reckless. Wasn't a whole lot on that one. The crazy Hawaiian looking to make some noise Recover. here. Remember, he came in with a 13 and one record. Right hand on three. You must measure. Measure. Makes his living slap fighting. Doesn't do anything else. This is how he makes his living, and it's pretty good living for him. Wide base here for the crazy Hawaiian. One. Two. Here we go. A little better. Good but Uncle Micah doesn't really budge. Uncle Micah doesn't move at all. It doesn't even look concerned. It doesn't look like it even bothers him. He's having a great time. He's like, I've been waiting all this time for this. I know, so this is like what he does thought. before he goes out and has a couple of beers. Here's a look at the scores. Because of the penalty, that 10-8 first round, Sayuli has a lot of work Hold to do. Fighter set. Hand count. Left on three. All right, left on three. First you slap in have. round three. Sayuli probably Come needs a knockout three. here. He's going to have to get big, That's even bigger than he is. Well, he's going to use that weight. All 400 pounds. Two. Let's go. Nope. Not enough. So the crazy Hawaiian lands a clean slap here. He's going to win his power slap debut. I'll be honest, not really impressed with the power from Sayuli. I am very impressed with the way that he eats the shots, however. He's got a great chin because he's got a gigantic okay. neck. I mean, look at the necks on these fellas. I know, chest up against it. I mean, they're clearly generating a lot of power, but as I said, with the size and the weight of them, you know, it does help absorb it. But uh, let's see how we end. Here we go. The crazy Hawaiian coming up. This is it. Unless there's, unless there's a, a flinch, this is the last strike of the match. That's a mess. Oh, he's going left. Left. Yeah. No. So the interesting thing is when we talked to him about hitting with the left versus the right, he said he started boxing as a southpaw. So even though the right's been his moneymaker as of late, he has power in the left, but he looked a lot more powerful with his right hand. He did, because that shot there went straight through. He swung all the way through the target, but Sayuli didn't even move. The hand went through, but oh, let's take a look. Look. The head, I mean, all right, slow motion like that, it moves all over the place. But in real time, see, look, straight back to him. He didn't look overly affected or bothered. Yeah, see, look at that, real time. It's just like a quick snap, 
straight back, didn't wobble him. Feet firmly in place. Takes a good shot, that's for sure. It is interesting, when you look at the super heavyweights and the heavyweights, there's not as many super heavyweights. And the, the power, at times, almost seems greater in the heavyweight division than for the super heavyweights. Yeah, no, it, it is. It's a curious thing, Mr. Helley. But as I say as well, because they're bigger guys with bigger necks, they're heavier, they can take a better shot, they can absorb it better. That's a good point. I mean, you talk about neck size, right? An average dude, like you or me, size-wise, is like a 16 or 17-inch neck. These guys are probably 23, 24-inch necks when you're talking about dress shirt sizes. Let's go. That's but crazy. Speed is also a contributing factor to power. Maybe the speed isn't quite as fast. I think Maybe you're right. need to work on that side of things. Yeah. But I'm sure the weight that they have makes up for it. You can see Uncle Micah a little disappointed in his performance. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. Let's send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 30-26, 30-26, and 29-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, the crazy...